Tell us a little bit about uh, what uh, factored into the plans for uh, Tyler and, and Colin and where you have them slotted in and uh, you know, Tyler on the number one power play unit, the whole gamut there. Please. Yeah, well, we need that right-hand shot down by the net. And then when Gabe was there, it showed how effective it can be. So Tyler's the obvious, obvious fit for that. He has a little, uh, a lot of history with uh, Monty and Alex, so it should be a comfortable fit for him tonight going into the game. And it's all that, what you just described, Rick, these guys are veterans. It makes it uh, maybe a little uh, easier as far as, you know, them not even having one practice, just a morning skate before playing. Yeah, again, they, they know how to play the game, and there's not that many different systems in the NHL. So uh, they, they'll know quickly that we play a pressure game. Um, so, uh, the, again, they're veterans. They know how to play the game. They understand the league and uh, what you can and can't get away with regardless of the system. So, uh, yeah, we're very comfortable throwing them right out there. You were quite clear uh, with your uh, short post-game comments after Vancouver on Saturday, so I would suspect you're looking for the, uh, uh, the, the required response tonight. Yeah, yeah, I was more upset at myself. And it was the players, so uh, that's easy to come <laughs> overcome. Um, yeah, we, we'll respond. This is a good group. We're a good team. We're having a good year, and I have full faith that they're going to respond. Rick, on uh, on Colin, uh, look like the power play drills. He was sort of rotating with Vlad as uh, two different looks there. Would you be working him in right away on, the, on that second power play unit? It, yeah, depending on how the game is going, the flow of the game. Yeah, he's got a heavy shot, yeah. and. Uh, if we can get him out there, we're going to let him use it. Yeah, and, and I was going to say, like, no offense to any of the defensemen on your roster, but does he bring an element that maybe you haven't had, particularly with that that shot? I think the other day, Tyler or someone was saying that he might have the hardest shot in the league uh, or close to it. Uh, yeah, I don't know where it would rank, but it's certainly up there. Um, I, I know when he was in Vegas and in Dallas, like he, he had to respect that shot is coming, is coming heavy. Uh, and he's really good at getting pucks down by the net, so we're going to let him use it. Um, Gabe, uh, we didn't see him out there. Was no. he, did he skate at all, or no. is he skating today? No. We're not sure when he's going to skate. Okay. Would that be considered any kind of setback? Or no, well, no. I, when I say that, it could be tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. could be on uh, Wednesday, Thursday. We're hoping he's – let's say he, we hope he skates this week. Right. And then just on that, once he does skate – is it going to take some time, though, to get up to game? Well, we're, yeah, well, again, we'll have to deal with that when we see how he's feeling and um, how the game is going. And, yeah, we'll, we'll fill that in when we get there. And just last one for me, but it looks like Cole's going to stay in the lineup or it will yeah. be in the lineup today. Yeah. You've got a lot of options. There's some serious internal competition, I guess, both at forward and on the blue line, even with Gabe out. Yeah. Uh, what do you think that internal competition means, and does that – Guys kind of have to be on their toes. Well, yeah, it, it's that, and we're going to, you know, with a lot of games coming up, we're going to use the the bench. It's like taking Cole out in Vancouver. He didn't play bad in Seattle. He wasn't pulled out of there because of poor play. We had arrested Dave Gustafson, so we wanted to throw him in there, and Dave got a job. So, uh, with with 16 games total in the month of March, we don't have another two day break until April. So it's important that we utilize the depth that we have. You talked about the possibility for instant chemistry with uh, with Monaghan, Ayafalo, and Toffoli. How nice is it to bring in a guy who's played with so many teams and knows so many guys around the league and could fit in like that? Yeah, and uh, again, they play with Alex in uh, L.A. He's played with Monty and Junior, and they're good friends. So I, I think it's a very comfortable setting for him to set, step into tonight. Um, we know what he can do. And again, when you're around the league this year, you get a good feel of who... who each team and how they play and things like that. He knows we're a hard play team to play against when we're on top of our game. So he's oh he'll be he'll fit right in. That's good. Sorry, just one last one, Rick. You, Washington's the last team you've seen. You played every team in the league except the Capitals, so that changes tonight. Um, they're obviously trying to stay in the playoff race. You met some other teams in the that situation recently. What yeah. do you expect from them? They're right there. They're knocking on the door and they had a big game their last game. They're scoring goals and uh, a desperate, hungry hockey team. That's what we're seeing right through. And I, we talked to the guys about that this morning again that every game from here on out is going to get tougher and tougher. So just be ready to respond.